Hey, I am MXJF, and today I will show you how to solder two wires together. Okay, first you need to take your soldering iron, and you want to tin it. I already have mine tinned. Then you want to take your wires, and if they aren't ready, strip them. For this tutorial pieces of wire, you can use different pieces of wire, but it will be sort of a pain. You want to twist, take the ends of the wire, twist them, and get the other end. I'm actually using two. Um, opposite ends of the same exact piece of wire just for this tutorial's sake because I don't want to find two different pieces of wire and I have this wire handy anyway so whatever okay let me get this other part stripped now we're almost good to go make sure the two pieces of wire that you want to solder together are roughly the same length. If one's a tiny bit longer or a tiny bit shorter, it doesn't really that matter that much. Now you're going to twist them like that so they don't fall apart. See? And you'll probably want to get this too. Get these stupid shielding wires out of the way. The wires you may have might have shielding, they might not. If they do, do not cut this off. I'm just trying to demonstrate the purpose of soldering two different wires together. I'm not doing shielding right now. Okay, here we go. Two wires, both roughly the same length. I'm going to solder them together. What we do first is you want to take them, make them like an X, and then you want to start twisting them together. You twist them together very tightly. And then, if they're twisted together right, they shouldn't fall apart when you do this. Next thing you want to do. So you want to put the wires in some type of thing that will hold them while you solder them. Adjust them in the way that you want. And tin your soldering iron. And put a bunch of solder on your soldering iron and rub it against the wires. Most of the solder should come off. If you run out, just put some more on. And once the two wires are totally encapsulated in solder, you are finished. To do that, wipe the solder and tie and tip in your sponge. Put it back in your soldering station or what have you. And under this. And if you want to make this a very, very secure connection, you will duct tape around it, or no, not duct tape, but electrical tape around this connection. I don't have any electrical tape. If I went to go get it, it would 
be a longer video, so I'm just going to use this kind of tape to demonstrate the way you would put tape on it. You would do this, and then you would go wrap it around and around. Electrical tape is better for this, but, and there you have a finished solder connection. There you go, two wires soldered together. Hope you like my tutorial, and happy soldering, I guess.